For Session Daily Update, I'm Chris Carpenter. Coming up next is today's House Floor Session. The House is scheduled to take up eight bills on its calendar for the day, including House File 3944. Representative Sanders' bill would modify the authority of the Commissioner of Health to adopt rules relating to indoor radon and provide that the Minnesota Radon Licensing Act does not preclude local units of government from requiring additional permits or inspections for radon control systems. Let's go now to the House Chamber for today's House Floor Session. The House will come to order. Prayer by the Chaplain. O oh Allah, we ask you by your mercy, which embraces all things, and by your strength, through which thou dominates all things, and toward which all things are humble, and before which all things are lowly, and by your invincibility, through which thou overwhelm all things, and by your might, which nothing can resist, and by your tremendousness, which has filled all things, and by your force, which towers over all things, and by the light of your face, through which all things are illuminated, and by your knowledge, which encompasses all things, we ask you to forgive us those sins which tear apart safeguards. Forgive us those sins which draw down adversities. Forgive us those sins which utter blessings. Forgive us those sins which hold back supplication. O oh Allah, we seek nearness to you through your remembrance. We seek intercession from you with yourself to bring us near to your proximity and to provide us gratitude toward you and inspire our leaders with the ability to remember you in the discharge of their duties and responsibilities. O oh Allah, we ask you with the asking of a submissive, abased, and lowly man to show us forbearance, perseverance, and patience, and, have, and to have mercy on the great people of Minnesota, the United States of America, and our one world, and to make us satisfied and content with what of your appointment and humble in every state. O oh Allah, we ask you the asking of one whose indigence is extreme and who stated to you in difficulties his needs and whose desire for what is with you has become great to give our leaders, our lawmakers in this honorable house of representatives peace, stability, guidance, direction, love, 
brotherhood, sisterhood, sanity, and true understanding as they legislate laws that will impact our lives. Your people are, O oh Allah, confronted with many cumbersome and undesirable conditions from which there seems to be no escape route but through you. O oh Allah, do not punish us for the action of the ignorance among us. O oh Allah, we are, you are peace, and from you comes peace. And no one can obtain peace except through your mercy and forgiveness. O oh Allah, guide our leaders in decisions that they make for the people of Minnesota and our world, and do not allow their personal pride to blind their actions. Bless the staff of this great House of Representatives, the people of Minnesota, Minnesotans, and the great United States of America. Amen. The chaplain for today is Iman Mohammed Dukli from the Islamic Institute of Minnesota, Burnsville's Mosque. Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. A quorum. Okay. A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journals of the preceding days. Journal of the House, 89th session, 91st day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Monday, May 2nd, 2016. If there is no objection, further reading of the journals we will be dispensed with, and the journals will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journals are approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Comparison reports. There is a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If there is no objection, the motions will, be, will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Reports of standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there is no objection, the reports will be adopted. Hearing no objection, the reports are adopted. Second reading of Senate files. Second reading, Senate file number 1372. Second reading. Second reading, Senate file 2744. Second reading. Second reading, Senate file 2896. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House Files 3984 through 3986. First reading, House Files 3984 through 3986. <laughs> Messages from the Senate. Message from the Senate, Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate files herewith transmitted. Senate files number 498, um, 1111, 1425, 2426, 2430, 2527, 2548, 2555, 2713, 2963, and 30. 272, and the message is signed, Joanne M. Zoff, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of Senate files. First reading, Senate file number 498, an act relating to data practices. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Civil Law and Data Practices. First reading, Senate file 1111, an act relating to transportation. Swazinski moved that Senate File 1111 and House File Number 1422, now on the General Register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. If no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate File Number 1425, an act relating to health. Barrett moved that Senate File Number 1425 and House File Number 1503, now on the General Register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. If there is no objection, first reading. First reading, Senate file number 2426, an act relating to corrections. Cornish moved that Senate file number 2426 and House file number 3193, now on the General Register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2430, an act relating to human services. Schumacher moved that Senate file number 2430 and House file number 2833, now on the calendar for the day, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2527, an act relating to natural resources. Erdahl moved that Senate file number 2527 and House file number 3829, now on the General Register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2548, an act relating to health. 
Peterson moved that Senate file number 2548 and House file number 2512, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2555, an act relating to local government. Peterson moved that Senate file number 2555 and House file number 2497, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2713, an act relating to public safety. Lesh moved that Senate file number 2713 and House file number 2741, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2963, an act relating to natural resources. Hackbarth moved that Senate file number 2963 and House file number 2993, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. No objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 3272, an act relating to the environment. Fabian moved that Senate file number 3272 and House file number 3409, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. No objection, so ordered. Recognize the member from Candy, Ohio, Representative Baker. For what purpose do you rise? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I raise for a point of personal privilege, please. State your point of personal privilege. Uh, Mr. Speaker and members, I, uh, I have a very special class of young adults that are in town today. Uh, they're going to be coming out here, I think, uh, right now to be introduced. This is a class from Candy, Ohio County called the CEO class. The uh, uh, initials stand for Creating Entrepreneurial Opportunities. Uh, these juniors and seniors in uh, Candioway County are a combination of three different uh, school districts in our area, ACGC, Wilmer, and New London Spicer schools. They meet at 7.15 a.m. every morning. They never meet in a school. They always go to a business, boardroom, bankers, accountants, and during this school year, these young men and women are actually going to create their own business. They are filing with an LLC. They're going to have a trade show at the end of the year. We are one of two areas in the state of Minnesota showing what it's like to be a real CEO. So these folks are actually going to be designing and developing their own businesses with different plans. And I just wanted to take a moment to say how proud I am that this is all fun funded totally locally from our area, from mentors, from businesses. Our idea and our hopes are that when these young people go to college and school that someday they might want to return to rural Minnesota and have a lot of connections with bankers, business members, accountants, uh, and will have the ability to come home with some ability to maybe say, this is what I'd love to do. Ladies and gentlemen and Mr. Speaker, I'd like to introduce the class of CEO from the uh, Candioa County area. The member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move a recess to the call of the chair till approximately noon. Republican members, we will caucus immediately following recess in room five of the state office building. Representative Pepin moves a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12 o'clock noon. Representative Thiessen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Democrats will caucus immediately after in room 200. Thank you. How did the new microphone sound? Great. Thanks. <laughs> All those in favor of recessing to the call of the chair until approximately 12 o'clock noon signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, no. no. The motion prevails, and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12 o'clock noon. <laughs> 